you do not comply, the sentence is death. <laughs> You know, you aren't a very good negotiator, Judge. Welcome back to my channel. Love Lauren here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be watching Dread from 2012, which was recommended to me by some of you guys in the community. I do know that Dread is based on a British comic book. I have not read this comic book yet, but I definitely plan to at some point in the future. As some of you guys know, I've been getting more and more into comic books, reading comic books. I've been building my comic book collection, so Dread is definitely one I plan to be getting into at some point. I saw that Carl Urban is in this and that has me really excited. I love Carl Urban. I'm pretty sure he plays Dread in this movie, but I've seen Carl Urban in The Boys. He played as Butcher and I really love that show. If you guys haven't seen it, you definitely got to check it out. But I'm really looking forward to watching this movie today and I hope you guys are too. So grab your chicken nuggies, grab your chalky milk, and let's jump in. America is an irradiated wasteland. Outside the boundary walls, a desert, a cursed earth. Inside the walls, a cursed city, an unbroken, concrete landscape. 800 million people living in the ruin of the old world, convulsing, choking, breaking under its own weight. Only one thing fighting for order in the chaos. The men and women of the Hall of Justice. Juries. Executioners. Judges. Whoa. <laughs> Do you see his armor that he was wearing? That was so cool. Look at the motorcycle. Oh my gosh. Whoa. There's some interesting looking inhalers. Some kind of drugs in there. What? I said we got a judge there, too. Oh, they call them judges. And they're basically law enforcement then, right? He's right on us. They seem really scared of him too. They seem terrified. Oh! <gasps> Gosh, he's got guns on that thing. Oh, wow. Bike, activate crowd control. This is giving me some serious like Robocop vibes. Oh, wow, they're all dead. Oh, except that guy, he's on the run. I don't know if it's the helmet or like the armor, but like the law enforcement vibe, it, fe it feels almost very like Robocop, which I am not even mad about. Let's talk. <laughs> talk about what, Judge? Face the hostage, unharmed, and I guarantee you life in an ISO cube without parole. Life without parole? That's a deal you offer? Only if you comply. If you do not comply, the sentence is death. <laughs> You know, you aren't a very good negotiator, Judge. But here's the deal. You let me walk or I blow the f brains out, okay? Negotiation's over. Hey, didn't you hear what I said? I'll kill the Yeah, I heard you hot shot. What? I said, hot shot. reopen in 30 minutes no big deal we're just gonna clean up all the dead bodies and the blood and we'll reopen it's no big deal this is a normal occurrence obviously <laughs> Jeez. final academy score put her three percentile points below a pass so what's she doing in a uniform how many people are observing you two what can you tell me about the person mm. i'm with male another judge he's a mutant the judge's counsel have chosen to overlook her status. Wow, that's pretty cool. She's the most powerful psychic we've ever come across. Her final score was only three points below her pass. It's marginal. It's not marginal. She failed. I want you to take her out. Give her one day in the field. That helmet is so freaking cool. <laughs> Chuck her in the deep end. It's all a deep end. <laughs> he 
seems like a real hard ass. Does not seem thrilled about having to take her out into the field. She's got some really cool psychic ability, though, that I think could probably be really useful. Oh, this is uh, Lena Hetty or Hedy? I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. She's uh, She was in Game of Thrones. Oh, that's a cool shot. Oh, that is very trippy. All the little water droplets. You can't deal with it yourself. I can deal with it. Question is whether you want to make an example of them. Dang, she's got a gnarly scar on her face. horrible 12 serious crimes reported every minute 17,000 per day jeez 12 crimes a minute your show rookie peach trees multiple homicide just like some tron motorcycles they ride around on oh wow that skate park on the edge of the building like that that is so cool kind of scary kind of scary I'm, I'm afraid of heights so that would freak me out judgment Vagrancy, three weeks, ISO cubes, but prioritize murders? Correct. Don't be here when we get back. Jeez, that sign he had. Oh, man. So why do you want to be a judge? I want to protect and serve the city to make a difference. I wonder why she's not wearing a helmet. Maybe they don't all wear helmets. Maybe just Dread does. What do you got? Three steers in a somewhat f up condition. Uh, did you hear that person in the background? Oh, let's get a picture of that. Jesus. I feel like everybody in this society is kind of desensitized to violence and crime because it happens just so much. Oh my god. What do you make of this, rookie? I don't know, sir. It's a coal burn from a slow-mo inhaler. Makes the brain feel as if time is passing at 1% its normal speed guess it felt like a long way down that's horrible oh my gosh it's already horrible to fall to your death but to fall at one percent oh god that would be horrible falling to your death in slow-mo that's torturous what's your analysis drugged skinned displayed in public i think it's a punishment killing someone's trying to send a message don't with the mama clan mama clan Madeline Madrigal, a.k.a. Mama. Anyone else, you'd say it was bull right? Her trademark is violence. <laughs> Not so long ago, there were three main gangs hustling for control of peace trees. Then Mama arrived. Nine months later, she had control of everything. Wow, so she's super powerful. Not someone you want to f with. I'm wondering when you'd remember you left your helmet behind. Sir, a helmet can interfere with my psychic abilities. Oh. I think a bullet might interfere with some more. <laughs> okay, so she doesn't wear a helmet because it interferes with her psychic abilities, but yeah, now she's she's kind of more vulnerable without a helmet on. <laughs> See, like, that's that's a pretty cool visual. Seeing that in slow motion. Whoa. Oh, my God. That is horrible, but also looks so cool. Anderson. Judgment. Crime, possession, and use of controlled substances. Sentence, two years, ISO cubes. No, don't tell me, tell control. Requesting meat wagon to peach trees, level 39. Copy that, meat wagon inbound. Meat wagon? Oh. Ooh. Sir, it's him. Him who? The man who murdered the people in the atrium. You sure? 99%. Can't execute a perp on 99%. Save me a lot of. Paperwork if you just confess right now. 
We'll take him in, see how he holds up after a few hours of interrogation. Oh my gosh, isn't that guy, isn't this guy the like angry general in Star Wars? I don't know his name, but I know his face. Uh, Caleb? Wow. There's a problem on level three. Look at his eyes. Oh my gosh. Picked up K. Executed? Interrogation. They're taking him in right now. If they're taking him in, he'll talk. Ma, what are we gonna do? Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh my gosh, he just hacked into their system. <gasps> This guy's sleeping on the job! Oh god, and it just got him killed. Wow. Rooter's in. You're good to go. I just want to check you were notified about the DEF CON systems test today. Peachtrees, we don't have you down for a DEF CON test. Yeah, we must be. If you check the, uh... It... I've got nothing. I, I put in the notification myself three times. I, we are good to go right now. I've got my supervisor breathing down my neck. Okay. I put you on the system, and all emergency services are notified to ignore your status. You can run the test anytime you like. Oh. Get up. You're headed for the cubes. Stand clear of doors. <gasps> oh. Dang. He really should have moved. Those people are gonna be trapped out there on the in that little skate park. That sucks. I guess it's probably better than getting trapped in this building. I would not want to be stuck in there. This is Mama. Somewhere in this block are two judges. I want him dead until I get what I want. The block is locked down. All clan, every level. Not the judges down. Oh. F Sit tight. Run. Makes no difference, you're mine. <gasps> this is a terrifying situation. Oh my gosh. These two judges being trapped in this building with all of these criminals. You're on assessment, rookie. Call it. Multiple armed targets, obstructed line of sight, gas grenades, respirators. I love those little gas masks they have. Those are nifty. <laughs> I have this feeling that Judge Dredd is going to murder all of them. Just calling it now. We're gonna have to go through him. Stun grenade. Citizens of peach trees. This is the law. Disperse immediately or we will use lethal force. You have been warned. You now have 20 seconds to comply. Step out from behind that doorway, we're gonna blow the f out of you. Ten seconds to comply. <laughs> what are you waiting for, rookie? This crime is attempted murder of a judge. The sentence is death. could tell she was fighting with herself in her head on whether or not she should shoot him. Our best bet now is to go covert and don't shoot unless you're gonna hit. Sir, what about the prisoner? Under the circumstances, he could be a liability. Also a prime suspect in three homicides. What do you say, rookie? Wanna cut him loose? No, sir. That look he always has on his face, it's like... There's a service elevator near here. It works as long as you're hitting a button above level 75. Oh! Kathy, I thank me. It's not 
for you. Oh, that was the guy she killed. Oh. Now she's probably feeling so guilty right now. <laughs> Dread that look on his face. He always... He, he has the same look. He always just looks like someone in his cereal. I just picked him up. They're on level 76 West Quadrant. Can you seal him in there? So I wonder what their game plan is. If they're trying to get all the way up to the top level to get to Mama. Oh, geez. We've got him cornered. We're taking him down right now. They know where we are. Why aren't they coming after us? That's what worries me. If I don't come back and you get cornered, you might not want to get taken alive. He's right, you know, about not wanting to be taken alive. The stuff the clan would do to a girl like you. Save the last bullet for yourself. Yeah, and I'll save the second to last one for you. They're mounting a minigun over there? Oh, jeez. Oh, Fire! They're getting everyone except for Judge Dredd. Oh, the skate park. Definitely safer to be at the skate park than in this building. All that damage they did and they didn't. They didn't do anything to Judge Dredd, to either of the judges. They just annihilated the building, though, and a ton of people in it. There's no way they survive. They're not dead till we find him dead. You ain't finding <laughs> sir. Control, do you copy? Request immediate assistance. Copy, 1024. Well, at least they're able to communicate with the dispatch now. If they come for us, we've got nowhere to go. Copy that. Backup is on its way. Just stay alive. Oh, 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 she is not gonna like that. I tell you what I think. I think if we had executed you on the bust, Mama would have let us walk out of here. She doesn't want you interrogated. She's afraid of what you might say. And that's got me curious. Oh my gosh. You leave it to me, he doesn't have to speak. Welcome to the inside of your head. Kind of empty in here. I don't know what kind of mute this is, but if my hands weren't cuffed... You aren't cuffed, if you don't want to be. <laughs> Thinking about hurting me doesn't actually hurt me. for her peace trees is the manufacturing base for all the slow-mo mom is controlling the production and distribution across the whole city interesting i love how the flag was right behind him just there for that shot that was that was cool peach trees can i help you we're responding to a report of judges under fire from within this block we're actually undergoing a scheduled war defense test not anymore you're not I've lost control of the system. We've had a fire on level 76. You better get control fast, or I'm slapping you with an obstruction of justice. Will do, sir. I'm on it right now. Thank you. Jesus, poor guy. He's just at her mercy. Freeze! Oh, no. Why should I freeze? Oh, no. Because otherwise, I'll shoot you. They just look like a bunch of kids. How do you want it, kids? Body bags or juve juve? Oh no. D 
Damn. You are so Oh god, I'm scared for her. He is pissed. Now then, what am I gonna do with you? You're going to do nothing. When you got busted, you should have killed the judges or been killed yourself. But instead, you let yourself get taken like the dumb f you are. But I... Shut the f Sooner or later, the Justice Department is going to come through the blast doors looking for their judges. they will find their bodies all shut up. That means no torture, no skinning, just a bunch of bullets to the head and chest. I think he's trying to access the PA. If you let him talk, I can trace which terminal he's using. This is Judge Dredd. There's a block got to break some of the same rules as the rest of the city. Mama is not the law. I am the law. Mama is a common criminal. And as of now, under sentence of death. Any who obstruct me in carrying out my duty will be treated as an accessory to her crimes. And as for you, Mama, judgment time. Oh my god. I'm guessing this is a trap. Incendiary. They walked right into that. How the f are we gonna stop this guy? Call 911. One million credits. <gasps> She's paying them off. They're on her payroll. No. Action detail on client champ. Alvarez. They're flushing them out. You got it. Oh, they're dirty judges. You there. Identify yourself. Chan, sector nine. Dread, sector 13. Good to see you, Dread. Likewise. You alone? Three man squad closing on my vector right now. So relax. Cavalry's here. Two of us called in the 1024, wondering why you didn't ask about the other one. Let's move it. Oh, oh, God. Dread. Judge versus judge. Oh. oh. Choke on that. Last words. That's funny. I was gonna ask you that. Oh my God! I've got the girl cold. I see her first. I shoot her. Well, that's where they're producing it all. What's the price of a judge these days? A million. Doesn't sound like much to betray the law. Save that for the rookies. Know what Mega City One is, dude. It's a meat grinder. People go in one end. Meat comes out the other. All we do is turn the handle. Rapid fire. Oh, it's empty. Armor piercing. Pyax. <gasps> Two way split. Yeah, I'd be breaking a sweat if you hadn't just run out of bullets. Lower your gun, rookie. I'm your backup. <laughs> that judge definitely underestimated her. I don't think she knew she was a psychic, so that, her plan backfired. She didn't shoot first like she said she was going to. On the piercing. Oh no. Oh. Ooh. Wait. Are 
Are you kidding me? Did he just say wait? The Judge Dredd finally gets on the wrong end of a gun, and what he says is wait. I mean, wait for what? Wait for me to change my mind? Wait for another two or three seconds of life? Because you're so f***ing weak, you just can't stand to see it end? No. <laughs> wait for her to shoot you. <laughs> wait for her to shoot you. Good job, Anderson. Oh. Oh. Some high tech first aid. You can't get in there without the keypad combination. I don't need your cooperation to get the combination for me. I'm sorry. the one that got his eyes Go. poked out that's why he has get out of here that's why he has those eyes mind explaining yourself rookie betting a felon is not just a fail offense i already picked up the fail when i lost my primary weapon he's a victim not a person still entitled to dispense justice and that's what i just did now that poor guy was just at mama's mercy he was terrified of her which he has reason to be i feel like a lot of people are scared of her to take out the top 50 stories. If they go, the rest go too. It's a transmitter synced to my heartbeat. My heart stops beating. The building blows. Everyone in it, vanish. This isn't a negotiation. The sentence is death. Figure the ranges on that thing. Could it get through 100 levels of concrete? Let's find out. Citizen Mama, your crimes are multiple homicide and the manufacture and distribution of narcotics. How do you plead? Defense noted. It's a really cool shot of Judge Dredd right there. Wow. God, that would really suck to fall to your death in slow motion. Really cool shots here though. dive into the concrete oh. I am really liking judge dread he is he is really cool The building's opening back up. Your assessment's now over. Sir. Look like you've been through it. Perps were uncooperative. So how does she do? She's a pass. I knew she would be. <laughs> One thing fighting for order in the chaos. Judges. Oh my god, I loved this! Bravo! It was wonderful. I freaking loved this movie. This movie was packed with so much action, so many cool shots, 
definitely hands down some of my favorite shots were those slow motion shots. There were a there were, were a lot of those shots in this movie and I thought they were awesome. Like getting to see all the sparkles. It was very trippy and I, I really enjoyed getting to see some of the visuals in this movie. I can't imagine falling to your death the way that Mama fell to her death in, well, she was thrown rather to her death in slow motion. I feel like that would be horrible and torturous, but you know, I guess in a lot of ways she deserved it. She's done that to countless people. We saw her do it to those three homicide victims in the very beginning of the movie, which is what started this whole thing. And you know, I, I loved Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd was freaking awesome. Guy was such a hard ass. He clearly believed in law and order and he did his job so well. Played by Carl Urban. I absolutely loved his performance. We never even saw him without the helmet, but just knowing that he was underneath that helmet the whole time, I loved it. I thought he did such an incredible job as well as Lena Headey or Hetty? I'm not totally sure. I never, I've never known how to pronounce her last name. Her as the leader of this gang of this, this clan, the Mama clan. It was, it was pretty wild to see her like that. And she was, she was pretty scary. She was very intimidating. She had essentially taken over that entire building and was in control of all of it and all of the people in there. So she was definitely a very powerful, intimidating person that a lot of people feared, but Judge Dredd did not fear her at any point. And if he did, he didn't show it. The guy was, <laughs> the guy was emotionless. He always had this, <laughs> the look on his face. You, I mean, like you couldn't see his whole face, but just his mouth all the time was, was cracking me up. He, he always had the same kind of look on his face and uh, I enjoyed it though. I thought, I thought both of those actors did a great job. The actor that played Anderson, Judge Anderson was also wonderful. I really enjoyed her character. I like that she was different from all the other judges. You know, she didn't wear a helmet. She said it interfered with her psychic ability, which I guess I could see, but she was, she was really different aside from just being a mutant she you know had psychic abilities and she seemed to she seemed to also just have more empathy for people than judge dread for instance i'm really glad that she ended up making it out of this whole situation alive because when she got taken up to the top floor and you know given to mama i wasn't sure how things were gonna go down i thought for sure that maybe they were gonna torture her or something but mama really kind of showed her some mercy and was just you know, saying we're, we're just going to shoot you. And that's that. So I was, I was glad to see that Anderson made it out of that situation. That was definitely a very cool scene when the guy was getting ready to kill Anderson and the ID said uh, the ID failed and the gun like backfired or like exploded in his hand or something. I'm not even exactly sure what the gun did but it blew off his hand and part of his arm and then, you know, he, he died. Anderson ended up just finishing the job. And so I was really happy to see Anderson get out of that situation. And you know, by the end, I, I wasn't sure when Anderson took her badge off and gave it to Judge Dredd, I was thinking that maybe she, she felt like she wasn't cut out for that work or she had already accepted that she was going to fail the assessment, which this was one hell of an assessment for her to go through. I feel like this was such an intense situation, but I'm, I'm glad that Judge Dredd gave her a pass. I thought she was incredible. The society that they lived in though, this society was brutal. And like one of those corrupt judges had said that the city is like a meat grinder and people just go in and, and you know, come out as meat. And that was, oh, that was a, a, a very interesting metaphor that he used when referring to the city. But you know, there is a ton of crime happening there. You, We saw a lot of people basically desensitized to the violence. There were people skinned during that homicide. There were people skinned and thrown from the very top level of that building. And there were people that they just didn't even seem phased by it. Like they weren't scared. It was just like, oh, just another day. And Judge Dredd had even said, I think every minute there's like 15 crimes or something like that. And they only can, they only respond to 6% of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is, that is wild. So the society they live in just seems very chaotic. And 
you know, Judge Dredd is really is is the law and order of that society. I I really loved this. So thank you so much, you guys, for recommending this movie to me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I would appreciate your support a ton. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Until next time. Dee Dee.